Hello, it's me again, Stephen Hayes, uh, Three Wise Heritage Apples, um, Hampshire, England. Uh, just a very quick chat about uh, top working or grafting over an apple tree. This is a technique which is really worth knowing and it's not very difficult. Um, if, you, if you have an apple tree which is sound, but it's not the right variety for you, you don't like the variety, you've got too many of it, um, as has happened to us more than once, you've bought a, a, an apple from a nursery and three or four years after planting it you get the first fruit and it was the wrong apple. It was wrongly labelled. We bought what we thought was Blenheim Orange once and four or five years later when it fruited it was cold and delicious, believe it or not. So this does happen. If you have a tree and the tree is sound but you don't like the apples, you can graft it over to another variety. This is some, these are some trees I did this to. Uh, just over a year ago, uh, this is our cider orchard, these uh, trees are on Moneyburton 111, they're about 10 years old, they should be bigger than they are now, but we didn't look after them as well as we should have done, we planted other trees in between them and the soil's not very good. Anyhow, this particular variety was Crimson King, not to be confused with the 70s British prog rock band with a similar name, King Crimson. Uh, but it what didn't suit us very well at all, for reasons I won't go into at this moment, I've written it up on the website. So I've grafted, uh, grafted it over to other varieties. Here you can see, uh, this here is the original uh, tree, that's why I made a big cut across it. And I've uh, worked in another variety, that's a sort of rind graft. Uh, we, do, we can discuss techniques of these later, I'll probably do some drawings and put on the website. Uh, there are plenty of books on the subject, but basically at the right time of year, which is about now, second week of February, you take pencils of new growth. When I say a pencil, I mean a piece of wood like that. Straight, clean uh, piece of the previous year's wood of the variety you wish to have. The Scion, as it were, S-C-I-O-N. Uh, keep that cool, wrap it in a polythene bag, put it in your fridge or somewhere cool and keep it until the tree begins to come into growth in about April usually so you're taking uh, dormant wood and grafting it onto wood which is advancing in growth so cut the wood now February store it and graft in late March early April there are several techniques which we'll come to one of my favorites is uh, this technique here this is um, a saddle graft very nice technique. Uh, that's a it's a crude drawing showing roughly what you do underneath. But uh, the lower bit there um, is the, the the wood you're grafting onto. You cut that to a shape. And sorry, <laughs> wrong way around. Uh, that, yeah, that's the correct way. Uh, the wood the wood that you're grafting onto the original tree you sharpen like that with two sharp strokes, uh, two sharp two strokes of a sharp knife. I make a, a corresponding bit on the top, join them together, tie them up, and they'll grow away like that. And you can see that's growing very well in a year. A few more places that's been done. Here, and here, and here. It's a bit clumsy, but it's growing okay. As a rule, it's a good idea not to let the new growth have any fruit on it in the first year. Just let this join become stronger. They won't all take necessarily. It's a cleft graft. Uh, where the, the bit you're grafting onto is a lot wider than the wood you've got to put onto it. Uh, that's a different technique. I'll show the techniques later, but this is just to give you an idea of how much growth you'll get in a year. There's a row of trees like this, about eight altogether. And you can see all of the top growth, all of the strong, powerful new growth is coming away from points, several points around the tree where it was top grafted or top worked last year. It's not a very difficult technique and it means that if you've got a big apple tree, a big strong solid apple tree, good roots, good trunk, healthy growing tree, but it's the wrong variety, you can convert it over to a, a variety that you want and because it's got strong roots already you can just see how much growth. This is one year's growth and this uh, should be fruiting very heavily within three years of being top worked over, whereas if you were to pull the tree out and replant it completely from new, uh, it would take you many, many years longer. Okay, 